The Sopranos prequel, The Many Saints of Newark, is going to be released in September of 2021, and will feature, the likes of James Gandolfini's son Michael, and the legendary star of Goodfellas, Ray Liotta. However you probably don't know that in 2010, Sopranos' sequel was made. Apparently, the New York Knicks, hoping to catch the attention of NBA superstar LeBron James, came up with an idea, to try and persuade him to join the team. What was their idea? They hired Eddie Falco, and Tony Soprano, himself, James Gandolfini, to star in a short film that served as a sequel to the series. The film was shot in Gandolfini's New York apartment, with a 10-minute runtime. The short revealed that Tony was alive and safe in the Witness Protection Program, putting to rest any debate over the character's fate, after the ambiguous series finale. The short film, apparently, didn't work, as LeBron James, signed with the Miami Heat. The short film itself is lost in an archive somewhere. According to Eddie Falco, she thought it was a prank, when someone said he's going to do it. And then, there he was, dressed as Tony. He must have been a bigger basketball fan than I realized. While we may never be able to watch this short film, the prequel to Sopranos, is just around the corner.